They love pushing into country that's really challenging. I love freestone rivers. I love the movement of water moving over big boulders. I love that the dynamics of that river changes from hour to hour to, you know, day on day. I think for me, feeling physically challenged is really important. That's where I'm at my happiest and uh, a few bumps and bruises along the way can be a reminder of some of the, the places that you've seen and experienced and it's something that you know, I really, really thoroughly enjoy. My name's Matt Trippett. I'm a professional fly fishing instructor and guide. I'm also the founder and CEO of an organisation called The Fly Programme which is a health promotion charity that aims to mitigate some of the challenges that our male community face through mental health struggles. We use fly fishing as a mechanism to be able to run programs and retreats in the high country here in the New South Wales Snowies. Supporting people through, you know, through a life of the outdoors and, and you know, through pathways like fly fishing is something that I'm deeply passionate about and uh, feel very, very fortunate to do. started for me about the age of 10 years of age, 10, 12, somewhere in there, and it was an absolute struggle. I wasn't mentored into it, my dad didn't fly fish, my brothers didn't fly fish, it was something that was a, a self-discovery I had for myself. Trying to get the gear out, guys. And uh, a lot of mistakes were made early on, so much so I think it probably took me about two or three years to catch my first fish on fly, but... Um, you need a big net, mate. I just couldn't put it down. Brenda. Dad didn't fly fish to start with. I think my dad and my brothers watched me for a while and they watched a lot of struggles. But on the flip side of that, when I started putting a couple of the pieces together of this puzzle and started to catch fish, they were then mentored by a little 12, 13 year old boy. But that's what fishing trips were for us. We always wanted to catch fish and we loved to take a feed of fish home to the family. The family were out every weekend and it was just, Part of our upbringing. Uh, I feel really fortunate that you know, I had parents that were so passionate about getting their kids in the outdoors, it was great. The opportunity to pass skills on to my children is the greatest privilege. You know, I'm really, really fortunate to be a dad of four beautiful kids who have all just got an incredible passion for the outdoors. We've got three boys who, you know, they love to ride their bikes and graze their knees. We've got a girl who loves to ride horses and, and that connection to horses is something that she just adores. It's really, really particularly special to see them naturally want to gravitate to, to fly fishing. That taught me a lot. Um, to be out on the river as a, as a young 12, 13 year old, and then to be standing out on the river with my old man who's 77 years of age. It's like, in lots of ways, as a young guy, I probably Good slowed boy. him down somewhat in the outdoors. So proud of you. And the roles are a little reversed now, where I can stand with my dad and, 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 and just slow down a little bit. Usually I, I go really, really hard. I love to hit really big, big, you know, backcountry rivers, and it's like fishing with my kids. It's something where, you know, the adventures are on different scales, and although physically they may not challenge you as much, but emotionally and mentally, and, and the value and the, and the friendships that we gain out of that is just on such a grander scale. And, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome to fish with my old man these days with that light and that understanding. Um, yeah, it's pretty special.